Hello, this is um, the Disguise D2 A Brighter Darkness Limited Edition Unboxing. This I actually ordered the Limited Edition Plus Strategy Guide, but unfortunately they're shipping it separate due to some sort of production issue. Uh, incidentally, uh, they also include this little Flan Squad sticker thing. So, uh, I haven't opened it, I just took the shrink wrap off. So you, I can't even remember everything that comes with it. I ordered from NISA um, because uh, they give you some extra freebies. Well, it's not really freebie in my case because uh, I have to import it, don't I? So here's the game case, basic stuff, really. Um, I think this and this side, okay, let's just get the art book out of the way. It's a thin, very thin. Very thin, very thin. Uh, I didn't even know I had it today. I was hoping I would get it today, Friday, but um, I didn't think that the box could hold it because I was assuming the art book was going to be in it. So you can see it's mostly just like character designs in there. I haven't even looked too much into the game really because I knew I was getting it, so I don't like spoilers if I can avoid them. So I don't even know everything it's about actually. Um, so let's just take this up, and here's the soundtrack. It's um, Sky D2 A Brighter Darkness official soundtrack with bonus tracks. Uh, well, it's quite a track list, really. It's 27 from the official soundtrack and um, 13 from bonus tracks. Hmm. You know, some of the stuff reminds me of uh, uh, the Sky 1 soundtrack. Like, um, I've seen some, I mean, some of these tracks are very f familiar. Considering it's a direct sequel, so surprising, they'd be like remixes or something. Like, uh, Ray of Light, uh, which would be continuing going into the future. There's, um, uh, let's see, what else? Big Red Moon instead of just Red Moon. Um... Rosen Queen Co. Netherworld Branch, uh, Akuma Drops. I think it was Angel Smile. I think I think there was a title called Angel Smile in the first one, too. Hmm. Well, there's a title here called Elegant Darksters. I think there was actually Elegant Demon or something. Hmm. There's a title just called this guy in here. I don't know what that is. Uh, I think these these are the bonus things that come with the ordering from NISA online store specifically. They're just little cards, not huge, but you know, nice little bonuses. Uh, let's get that off without you know bending the cards, eh? Come on. You know, I think I'm going to use my box cutter. Yeah, box with card, but you know, we've got to cut. There we go. It worked quite well. Let's take the cards out very gently. There's um, Flan and Etna. Uh, then it looks like um, Flan and Lady Samra. Um. Flan and a Laharl, uh, plushy type thing. Or Chibi Laharl, I don't know if he's supposed to be, you know, alive or not. Uh, and there's a uh, Flan and Etna idol for him, I guess. And then there's this one. Flan and Etna with a pretty in the background. Ooh, naughty and all that. Uh, and let's see, this is the last thing. It's um, Toy Works. And then found not for resale. Hmm. Let's see, let's get this open. I'm glad I brought the box cutters. I wasn't really expecting to use them after opening the case itself, but apparently I didn't need it. Rather, it was very helpful. Come on. Oh, look at the back. I hope you give us plenty of love. 
You better take good care of us or else. Okay, that's a little bit suggestive. But okay, then. Let's see if I can get this up without damaging the books. Uh-oh. I got a warning that the battery's low, so I really ought to get this done ASAP. I was afraid of that. Okay, let's get this open now. Let's see? There's a little flo headless flying. <laughs> okay, let's get that assembled. Hmm, that looks like a base. I really hope I don't run out of battery power. So it looks like a base and stand. Uh, they're all separated into different sections. That's annoying. Because you've got to open each one individually. There's the fronds bottom I have. Headless. Uh, Jeez, each part, every, each part, except for the base plus stand thing, are separate. It's slightly irritating. Because i got to open every single box, every single package. Right. Separately. And I'm running low on battery power, so I've really got to hurry it up. Okay, that's it for this one. Let's assemble. Flan. Uh, okay, let's see. I guess put that on. Mm. Oh, jeez, that looks really annoying to try to assemble, actually. Let's get that on. How is that even supposed to fit effectively? Ah, I don't want to break anything, you know? I have no idea how to get that out. Uh, it's actually moving. Her, it looks like the head can have some movement. Uh, I'm not enjoying this much. I always hated assembly of anything, really. I'm gonna break something at this rate. Oh shoot. Her arm came off, that's awesome. Her arm came out of its socket, although it looks like it can be put back in. But yeah, this is really, really, really annoying. And now I have to basically take it apart again just to get the damn arm in because it's really hard to reach. Yeah, this is really nice design, guys. I'm sure there's a reason for I mean, it does mean that it there are... A little poseable, but not much. I just can't see myself getting this assembled before the battery dies. I really wish I'd charged it fully, but every time I try to push it in, I just push it away. We we almost. There, I think I got it. Well enough. Oh, crap. Come on. Yeah, this is really annoying. That'll have to do, I guess, even though it gives her kind of a stick neck appearance. Because I can't get it on any better than this. Ugh. Oh, come on. And now her arm fell off again, okay? Armless flan, good enough. Huh?
I'll try to put it together again another time. And then there's Edna. But yeah, that's really, really annoying. Not everybody's handy, you know. And these things are annoying to put together. Because they keep moving. You can see there's... There. You can see the hole in the back of her head. Just stick this in the back of her head, I guess. Suppose it's supposed to pop in. And then and this and then she floats there. That's the idea anyway. Let's see if I could get Etna assembled. It looks like Etna might be a little easier. Yeah. Etna's gonna be a lot easier to assemble. Flan is just a little bit too cramped up to fit. Properly. Yeah, I don't really like some assembly required designs things. I'm just not handy. Like my first cast of build PC it took me ages to put it together. I'm just absolutely horrible at putting things together. It's like I know intellectually how it all goes together, but it just can't coordinate. I mean, she only, this, she, okay, so, whoa, um, okay, Etna's also got detachable arms that you can pose to, um, and she's also got a head that can be moved. Can't say I really like the design of the, all of this, because it looks like it could easily break if you're not careful. Look at that. It just seems like it's going to break when I'm pushing it on. It's like, who designed things that seem like they're going to break the second you try to attach them? I mean... I'm not sure how far down I'm supposed to push it either. I think that's as far as it goes, though. So she's got a wobbly head. Wobble, wobble, wobble. I swear it's getting dented as I push it down. So I don't know, I guess it's as far down as it goes. Yeah, I really don't like that much. I'd rather prefer solid figure. It looks like. Hmm. Let's get her arm in for you. It's nice, it's a nice feature that they're posable, but I really would have preferred it shipped assembled. Granted, there is a good chance it could come apart. And yeah, she's like, she's got like no feet, really. They're just supposed to, um, stick it in the, uh, well, the holes for the feet. There she is, she's just there, she's assembled, looking up. That's it. And there's mostly assembled flan. Let's see if I can't get it. And the base fell off. I really, really don't like this much. Yeah, the arm is essentially just falling off underneath. I can't do much about it without taking it apart all over again. But you know, I did not enjoy much, and I can't even figure out where the heck the um, base went. It went under the table somewhere. There it is. Uh, that was fun. Well, that's it. Uh, these little fun and Etna figures, the soundtrack, the mini art book thing, um, the game itself. Uh, I suppose I could open that too. Yeah, assuming battery will let me. Nothing much to see, I'm sure. Let's 
see there's uh, the game disc and a heftier instruction manual than most games get. It's, uh, granted, it's also in French, so half the length is in French, so it's not surprising that this has actually not only bothers with an instruction manual and then English and French, but um, that uh, it's actually thicker than normal, even accounting for the French, because a lot of a lot of guides and a lot of games don't even bother with um, uh, instruction manuals anymore. But you know, this guy is the kind of game that you want an instruction manual for, and these bonus card things, which you need to get on NISA's online store in order to get. So if you didn't order from there, you don't get it, basically. And the box for this. Figure things. Yeah, it's a little dark because I'm standing in there. And then the outside cover. Okay, that's it. The battery didn't die, so yay for that and all. Bye-bye then.